Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a new episode of The Nasty Talks. In this episode, I will tell you a little story. And in this story, my ex-boyfriend is involved. This story is about how me and my ex-boyfriend started being a couple. In some situations of when you're dating somebody or starting to date somebody, things are smooth and easy and fun. Not my story. My story is a roller fucking coaster. So get ready. I was new in Denmark at that point and I was an exchange student. I was living in a dorm and here I think we were around 13 people having our own rooms and sharing a kitchen. And there was this good looking guy I had my eyes on from the beginning, but he told me that he recently broke up with his ex-girlfriend and he was not ready for something new. But at that point I was searching for a job, uh, for a student job. And I was experimenting with the weirdest jobs. At some point, I ended up in this place where I was supposed to deliver newspapers on a scooter in the night. Not creepy at all. There, I met a Romanian guy who was pretty much interested in me. He was taking me out on dates and trying really hard to impress me. But it was kind of pointless because, you know, I was really interested in my roomie. And one day, the Romanian guy invites me to his birthday party that takes place in a club in the city. And I had to say no, because me and my roommates were going to a housewarming party of someone who used to live in the dorm. And of course, the guy I had a crush on was going to be there as well. So how could I, how could I miss that? We get to the party, and there the hosts prepared some games in which me and my crush were always in the same team for. I guess everybody thought that there was something going on and everybody kind of wanted us to couple up or something. Um, and maybe they also thought that we would look cute together, who knows. But anyhow, we are running out of alcohol and one of the persons suggests that we are going to this club in the city. Mind you, this club is the same club that the Romanian guy had the birthday party at. But okay, at this point I'm pretty drunk and inevitably I start dancing very sensual and sexy. And I'm getting very close to my crush. And, and yeah, everything goes well. We are having a lot of fun until he's pushing me away. And... In that moment, I took my stuff and I went to the Romanian guy. Thank God he had plenty of alcohol in which I can drown my sorrows because I was so fucking mad and annoyed and sad and rejected and what the fuck. And we party, everything is great and it's time to go home. It was very late, but I cannot find my ticket for my jacket. And that was a huge issue because as I am a very smart person, I left my bike keys and my apartment keys in my jacket. And the security guy told me that I can get my jacket back on Tuesday afternoon. And as a context reference, it was Saturday. So that means there were two days and something, three days that I had to live somewhere else. That's just great, you know. And the Romanian guy offers me to sleep at his place. Of course. What a gentleman. We go to his place and I have a massive, massive, massive blackout. I wake up in the morning naked and I ask him, did we have sex? He says, yes. My mind goes nuts because I didn't like this guy at all. And I apparently had sex with him. Amazing. One day comes and he gives me clothes, a tablet, a backpack, and he drives me to the university. That, I have to admit, was really nice of him. And the day goes by and then on Tuesday I get to recover my jacket with all my belongings in it. 
I bike home. And as I entered my dorm room, I get a text from my crush. I'm sorry for how I reacted the other day in the club. Do you want to go grab some food and talk about it? I was like, whoa, this is an interesting turn of events. I said yes. We go to a burger place, have a small talk, and he asked me, so what happened in that night after I left? I start crying and I tell him that I had sex with this Romanian guy and I really didn't want it to. And he tries to calm me down. He says that he has a bottle of gin at home so we could go home and talk some more about it. That's what we did. Except that after too much gin, I puked on his shirt and we went to bed. We didn't have sex, we just slept together. But hey, I ended up in his bed so... All good. In the middle of the night, I wake up naked in the hallway with a blanket around me. I was very confused of why I was there and where his room was and what the fuck was going on. I thought of the most logical place of where his room was. I knocked on the door and another guy in a blue robe opens the door. I must remind you of the scenario. It was the middle of the night. He was wearing a robe. I was naked with a blanket around me. And I was knocking on his door. I cannot even imagine of what he was actually thinking about. Like, what would I think about if a naked guy, for example, in this situation, in my fantasy, would knock on my door Just having a towel or something around him, I would be like, whoa. (laughs) I tell him, I'm sorry, you're not the guy I'm looking for. And I proceed to walk away. In the end, I find my crush's room. I go in and back to sleep next to my guy. Then in the morning, I cannot find my phone and I cannot find one of my slippers. I look everywhere, in his room, in my room, in the kitchen, and nothing. I go across the hallway, back to the robe guy. He opens the door in the robe again. I have to mention that now I had clothes on. (laughs) And I asked him if I had my phone with me in the night or if I was wearing slippers. He says no. And I go back into the kitchen where I find one of my roommates getting some breakfast. I ask her, have you seen my phone? She reaches for her pocket, takes my phone out and says, this one? I'm like, yeah. (laughs) She says, I saw it in here and took it so nobody else would. I take it and I walk away, but then I turn and ask, have you maybe also seen my slippers? She says, have you tried under the couch? I look under the couch, it was there, and I say thanks and go back to my crush's room. He asks me if I want to watch a movie, so we end up cuddling, watching a movie, and that was the start of our relationship. I ended up having a two-year relationship with this guy. It was a relationship from which I learned and developed a lot, and sometimes I'm I'm still learning from it, and I'm still thinking about it. I hope you liked my short story and with this I encourage you to also look back at how your life used to be in the past, how your approach to relationship was, how you were as a person and what changed, what made you be the person you are now. Thank you for listening and I hope you're having a great week. If you liked this episode, make sure to subscribe to our channel to not miss any of our future episodes. And until next time, take care and stay nasty.